Hello, and welcome back to the Fourth Estate Militia actual play. A specter from our future King of the Barons makes her presence known. A conversation, as well as other things, are held in an unexpected meeting, and it seems his childhood friend Red Hot may be keeping a few secrets of his own. Sorry, Horatio, but you're about to have a bad night. It's time to begin episode 39. He was talking about the Kingdom of Hawaii a while back. There is one thing I want to do, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. All right, Kennel. Yes. With your like the drone in the sky, could you make me a perception check for it? Sure thing. Uh, I just that got... thing's gone. Go grab. Let me sign back in real quick. All right, and I'm sorry. What would you like me to roll for the drone, or like as if I'm looking through it? For the drone itself. I mean, unless you like want to be watching it twenty four seven. Oh God, no, no, he would never do that. And that would be one hit. Okay, Horatio, can you also make me a, a hearing perception check at a minus four? Oh, sure. Let's edge this. It feels important. Okay, uh, right around what time does Horatio, like, when does he, like, really hit deep sleep normally? About seven in the morning. Okay. He's one of the, you um, know, because it's the real gangster life, right? You're up all night, go to sleep at, like, maybe 4 a.m., and then you sleep till about noon or one. Oh, right, he's insomnia. Yeah, he's an insomniac. I forgot about that. Okay. So around probably five or six o'clock, like right as you start dreaming, you, you hear right next to your ear. Horatio. Horatio. Quick draw the star. It's missing. Now, how does Horatio sleep, by the way? Like, what does he sleep in? Probably just a skivvies. That's what I figured. When you reach for the TMP, it's missing. And you feel a very sharp grasping on your genitalia. Ah, 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 ah. Don't do that. Ah. After a second, you feel a... Uh, Horatio's probably felt some sort of blade. You feel a blade, like, touching the underside of everything. And, like, as you open your eyes, a fairly beautiful orc woman with two cyber arms that are uh, colored in a very dark crimson. She, she's uh, laying on the bed roughly next to you. And she goes, now, we need to talk. Yes, Horatio, this is Heat Wave. So, where's Red Hot? Oh, I'm not really his, his, his babysitter, you know. He'd, he'd do what he'd do. See, he was the one who told me that if I was ever needed to find him, to come to you. And she squeezed a little harder. <laughs> now think, where is Red Hot? Uh, we're going to send a DNI to uh, Red Hot with a message. Because wireless. Okay. Yo, know, what is Wave doing here? She wants to know where you are. There's no answer. Well, I don't I don't know right now, but if you give me you know, that's cold. If you give me some time I could probably find him. Did did you try calling him? That's what I For do. The last six weeks. I've been trying to find him. I know he's got the relay. Where is Red Hot? Wait, wait, how did how did you even get here? Did that slitch tell you about where to step? No. That would just be telling. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not I'm not a cop. I'm asking the questions, Horatio. I need to find Red Hot. Did you did you try his pad? I've tried here. Now he's not here. I know. I've been everywhere. I've tried the granite top. I even went down into the fraying radiated caves. He's not there. I've been to his home. I've been to his mother's house. I've been to everywhere that I can think of to find him. Now, where is he? Maybe he's on vacation. You know, like he was talking about the kingdom of Hawaii a while back. She goes from like laying down, like laying down on her side to like actually like sitting up. She puts her hand underneath your chin, like doesn't quite touch you, and you hear a, a chink as you feel uh, five blades 
grabbing up underneath her chin. So, you don't know where to find Red Hot. You don't know where to find the Fragger. Just taken off for the last six weeks from us, who's one of our biggest earners. He's your friend. And, and, you put the gang underneath our noses without asking our permission. Yeah, that's because, like, you know, the third the third tenet is, like, you build, and it's better to ask for forgiveness than, than for permission. Besides, the, the money's I going in. I don't hear an apology. Uh, I'm sorry for making you a lot of money. And you cost us money, you fragging idiot. I'm pretty sure we got you guys, like, a whole, a whole bunch of drugs, a whole bunch of new yen, that, that new drug lab. Let me guess. You gave that to Red, didn't you? And uh, didn't, you know, follow him, have an I get, give a general idea of where he's going. Why do you think I sit plushy here? Well, between you and I, plushy was kind of kind of an idiot. I know. And he really only cared about his car, uh, which is actually my car. It's not his. But no, he had like a truck. I'm losing my patience. Answer my questions. What What was the question again? Did you not try to figure out what he was doing with all of this? No, because he's you trust your homies. That's what you do. You know, like like there's information that I don't need to know. So, you know, I don't know it. The blades that are underneath her chin, they you, you feel them like come come away from you. Like you actually hear them like retract. She grabs you between the her thumb and her and her forefinger. You don't trust people ever, Horatio. The only reason you're not dead is because we know you're too stupid to do this intentionally. Yeah. So you didn't follow him. You have no idea where he is. I bet he's still in Redmond, but you know. I need you to find him. We've got the spiders breathing down our neck first. We've, we were having a fight with the nukes. And a freaking civil war. Yeah, you want me to go kill the spiders for you? That I could do that. Those guys are a bunch of chumps. No. I need you to clean up your mess first. With the brain eaters. They think you're involved with us. What? You've been putting a CC next to your tags. I I mess with no brain eaters, and and this this is genuine confusion from him because he he hasn't, uh, and I think I don't think Juliet's talking Juliet, to the team about it. I don't think Juliet or Kendall has. The uh, the only thing close is when Juliet and I were setting up at the other house, basically, was that she did advertise this is Redwire's hunting ground, enter at your own peril, you know, enter and be shot, but we never said anything about Crimson Crush over there. But she did put a lot of a lot of Redwire's warnings around the place. And you guys have a reputation of apparently working for the Crush. Well, I, I guess I could go kill the Brain Eaters. That might take a little while. I could use some more bullets for that. I need them off our back. And they want the red wires. So, I'm going to hand you and your little team over to them. That, Do you understand me? That probably won't go well for them. You know, and, and they're just, just going to, like they did with the, uh, the snakes and the 13th Street Badgers. I'm aware. Critters. And I'm aware, but I can't fight them, the spiders, and the rest of the crush. All they want is you stupid fraggers. Well, if, if that happens, we're not going to be making you any more money. No. And then you lose the... But your friends will. All this nice little group that you've got here, we'll bring them underneath our wing. Oh, I, I don't think so. And I'll tell you what, Horatio. If you survive this, come back to me. I'll have a job for you, and you can be part of the crush. There's like a lot of bombs here, so I would I would be careful about coming back here. And live wires too. Like one time I was taking a piss sweetie, off the roof. Sweetie, I didn't come in from the ground. She turns your head off to the side, and you see a fairly large backpack sitting off in the corner that's not yours. Now I need you to listen. Talk to your team. Get them to go to Runner Bar 23 
in Touristville without any weapons. Do you understand? Well, I don't. I don't know that that could happen because, like, you it know, Kendall, will Kendall happen. Hor- Horatio, look at me. Well, like Kendall has arms. It. And, and look I've seen at what me. Look at me. People. And she smacks you across the face. Listen to me. Ow. There's no need for that. Go there tomorrow with your your little friends, the breeder, the troll, and the freaking squat, and turn yourselves over. I'm going to go. She stands up, pulls on the backpack, and if you're looking at her, she basically disappears. But you, you can hear her talking. If you don't, Horatio, I'll kill them in front of you slowly. You see her door open as she leaves.